Hello, welcome to a GibbsCam demonstration from Midwest Cam Solutions. This demonstration is for GibbsCam Home Manager AFR using saved processes. I'm going to go to Home Manager and we're going to run AFR, which is going to build all the attributes of all the holes. I'm going to group them up. Before I start producing the holes, I'm going to click each group and sort them so I have a good hole path route. This will sort for an intelligent route so I don't have to do it after I put the holes in. And you can resort any time to reorganize any of the patterns. I'm going to double click this first group. These are a 406 counter bore hole. So I'm going to go to my process library for counter bores for a 406 drill with the counter bore tool and say do that. We're going to grab this next group and load a process for a counter bore for a one inch hole using a one inch end mill. We'll do that. Select the next group, do it. The next group, we can just use the same process. The next group is a uh, half inch threaded hole. So I'm going to grab a process for a threaded hole for a half inch 13 and then do that. The next group is a counter bore with a 281 drilled hole. So I'll grab a hole for a counter bore for 281 and do that one. Grab the next group. This is another mill bore hole. We can use that same process again with the one inch uh, end mill. And do that. This last group is a 3 16 a 3A16 uh, threaded hole. So we're going to grab the process for that tap and do that. They're done. I'll sort the ops and all the holes have been completed now. Next I'm just going to demonstrate how we can complete this part. So I'm going to grab all these little faces, right click and extract geometry. And I'm going to select these outer walls and we're going to convert those to air walls which are open sided pockets. Next I'm going to grab a process for volume mill and the volume of process you can always open it up and adjust the depths if you need to because I'm just using geometry here. Let's say do that and I'll open this up as it's calculating there and load in the depth for these other ones because these are shallower on this end. I'll say do that. Now I'm going to grab another process to finish mill the bottom floors and the side walls. And uh, we'll just do those two and open this up and adjust the depth now for these pockets. And I'll just select those cavity shapes and do that. Sort my ops. Next I'm going to chamfer all the holes. So I'm going to grab me a chamfer mill. I'll use the profiler to give me the outline of the shape I want. Turn the profiler on. This green grid comes up. We can adjust the depth by sliding it up and down. I want to start here maybe off the part and go around the corner so you do that. Now I want to chamfer all these holes, so I'm going to extract geometry off that face. And then we're going to select a process. I'm going to use a feature milling process for chamfer milling, where I have one set up here with a quarter inch angle. And I'm just going to select all the circles that I want to chamfer. Once I have these all selected, I'll just say do it, and they're all going to be done. Each one of these chamfers features could be at a different depth. It'll automatically adjust, maintaining the same associative size for the chamfer size automatically. I'll say do it here. So that's all done now. So now if we can uh, CPR it and watch it cut, I'll slow it down and uh, say play. We can watch our tools start machining. So we're going to spot all the holes first. And when we put the uh, holes in, they were as groups, but sorting the ops down here, sorted them all so they're all going to be together as a group. Now we're mill boring all the counter bores. You can hide that tool holder if you don't want to see it or show it. We're doing all the mill bores. So we drill them out and mill bore it to size. And it could be rough in a finished process as well. Or with a click in the whole process dialog, it could be a helix bore, which would just be a click. And you can adjust the uh, pitch size easily. But using these saved processes really speeds up the everyday routines of putting holes in your parts. You could have you know, hundreds of hole types, and they could all be saved and loaded in with a click and applied to any hole attribute. The tops and bottoms are recognized. It knows how to wrap it to the next hole 
retract up to clear things. Multi depths, multi sizes, it doesn't matter. The uh, hole manager takes care of all that stuff. So we pretty much got the holes here now. Now I'm just doing all the chamfering of the holes. So we're going around just chamfering all the edges and we're done. This kind of completes the uh, presentation here for this part. Um, hope you enjoyed the presentation. If you have any questions, give us a call. And bye now and have a great day.